Yeah, I agree. And I, and I think that's uh, another important thing to think about is the word CSR, it's, it's important. And com- any company needs to think about their corporate social responsibility. It's honestly part of a corporation nowadays that, that they need to in- include it in some way, shape or form. But the question comes from, are you doing it because of good faith or are you doing it because of profits at the end of the day? And yeah. um, a lot of the times when I do see the word sustainability, that's when I do start questioning it. But there are some good examples of people that are using CSR, companies that are using CSR, and that's really benefiting them. For example, yeah. Adidas plans, I think it's, I don't remember the exact date. It's like 2023 or might've been 2026 or 25 or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, that they wanna make most of their clothing out of recycled materials. Um, same thing with a company in Finland, uh, Bill Meno. Uh, their entire approach, which I think is very, very smart, is that they are trying to do it through all plastic and re- renewables. Um, However, they realize that they can't 100% all make all their clothing out of it. But right now, that even on their website, it says about 39% is made out of it. That's a start. And at least they're honest about it. They're saying this much recycled material is going into this, this hour, building it out. And their entire brand is around that. Mm-hmm. So that's where I think it becomes legitimate when your brand pushes that image, not necessarily, I'm just going to slap it onto my brand and let's hopefully it catches on. But if you're authentic from the start and you're showing, because on their website, they literally show how much of uh, like gallons of water they're saving and bits in Finland. So liters of water they're saving and how they're actually helping the environment, how much pollutants are they're removing and how much textiles and fabrics and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Having stats in front of you scares you because when I see how much this industry actually creates pollutants, it will blow your mind. Like, actually, let me pull up some stats because <laughs> it's, it's interesting to look at the numbers. So right now it says um, 35% of all microplastics, which is the biggest pollutants that go into our oceans, is made from um, textile factories and polyester. Yeah. Polyester. So that means that it's coming directly from the fashion industry. And that was in 2017. So yeah. that's definitely gonna be a lot higher. Yeah. Um, and the issue with that is because of the trajectory of the jump in profits too. So the the jump in the fashion industry product profits and how fast it's growing, it's mm-hmm. only gonna cause more and more of this factor to come back into the play of sustainability because yeah. if they're producing more and more and more if they're not making these systems now of like how they're going to be sustainable it's literally just going to cause more pollutants yeah which goes into our oceans which causes these problems and i always think it's funny because we ban straws but then we don't go towards the industries where a real problem not necessarily the product but go towards the industry right right and that's something also you know as united states citizens a lot of us aren't truly aware of even the recycling process mm-hmm. Um, compared to other countries, you know, we think that all plastic is recyclable, even, and um, and that was actually just a huge campaign that was done in the United States by the companies that were creating these plastics to convince consumers that plastic was actually truly recyclable and didn't destroy the planet. The truth is that even certain plastics, they're numbered. I think it's like one through ten, or all these different categories, and a lot of the different categories of plastics truly can't still be recycled even though we all throw all plastics into recycling Mm -hmm. so like you said it's um not only being cautious as consumers in purchasing certain products but holding industries liable to say okay you use all of this type of chemical to create all of your product Mm -hmm. you know well, how about changing that entire process? Yeah, changing an entire process in a company costs more than just tweaking, you know, let's recycle all of our water now and now it's going through, I don't know, some recycling system. Mm -hmm. And then now all the water in the company that they're washing their hands with and all that is recyclable. Now they can say they're corporately socially responsible Mm -hmm. and that's the cheap way. But then the actual changing the process and the chemical usage. And yes, that means, you know, changing maybe an entire piece of equipment that was Mm -hmm. thousands or even millions of dollars. But if that means a completely entire impact change, you know, when we start seeing no longer any plastic bottles are even being able to be used by other smaller companies that Mm -hmm. are looking for packaging to put juices in or packaging to put in whatever, if we stop it at the source, then that's how we can truly impact and change the extremely exponential increase of climate change that's been happening because of our decisions.